My name is Ted Juvie, and I was born in Enterprise, Oregon in 1954. I'm very fortunate. I'm living in a kind of a dream in a way. Every day is a new beginning. It's a good way to start. The studio that I work in now is in a barn that my father built when I was probably about six years old or so, and I remember playing in the sand piles where he was like mixing up the concrete for the footings. I uh, started doing ceramics a little over 50 years ago now, and little did I know that that would be my life's work. Working with clay is so fluid. I never get tired of the, the feeling of the clay in my hands. You can get your fingers just in the right position and you know whip something up and, and then a little energy this way, a little energy that way, and it forms a beautiful form. I probably average four or five tons of clay a year or so. Clay is, it's taken eons to break it down into that material, so you gotta really respect that what you're making is important enough to actually put on the earth. You take this rare earth material and, and you turn it back into stone, it, it's a pretty big responsibility. That's how I feel about it. I try to work intuitively, and so when I'm Doing my design work, I don't really think about it so much, rather than just through actions, one thing leads to another to another, and pretty soon there's a whole new design showing up. They might all look the same, but if you get to looking closer, then they're all just done like this, one at a time, so everyone has its own unique features, and well, I'll just... We'll do this here on this one. I'm surrounded by so much beauty every day and where I live. I like to try to reflect that beauty back into my work and spread that out into somebody else's space. Sometimes they're hard to let go of when they come out just right, but I love to pass it on. Come on, Ben. Let's go. Get to work. I got exposed to uh, clay, you know, actually firing the clay back in junior high when I was going to school in Hermiston, Oregon. By the time I was a junior, senior in high school, I was running the ceramics program there. When I graduated high school in 73, I was making pots and experimenting, and I'm self-taught, so I, 
I didn't really know what I was doing, but I was having a good time doing it. And like one thing led to another, and all of a sudden I was a studio potter. I never planned it. <laughs> it just, the clay consumed me. And now I'm really consumed. Trying to make a living, I have to do a lot of utilitarian work. And once in a while I'll break away and I'll get into my low fire, the Raku and the Obvera and my experimental work and have some fun with that. I preheat the pots in a gas-fired kiln that's up to about 1200 to 1300 degrees and I pull the vase out of the kiln and put it off into the Obvera mix. And then when I pull it back out, it starts to sear and burn, and it sucks that carbon right in, and it saturates the surface into kind of a glaze-like look. It's a real act of nature, and you can kind of control some of the pieces, but not much. There's not much predetermined about it. Beautiful. I really enjoy the look that I get when it comes out right. Once in a while, you get that really fantastic piece. A little clean up on the inside yet. But... All in all, a keeper. After so many years, I've built a name for myself and I can't keep up. Let's see, a couple of vases. And it's just like, goes out faster than I can keep them stocked. So it's quite a dilemma actually, but I'm gonna to try to ring it in a little bit <laughs> so I can take a break and go fishing. I love Ted Juvie's work. All people love his work. We get tourists that come in and have heard of it and are excited to, to bring home a bunch. And we have locals that can hardly wait for him to come out with some new stuff, which he does every couple months or so. He's like a local staple in the artist's community and the tourist community and the local community. The thing that excites me about my work today is I'm confident enough when I sit down to do something with the clay that I can talk to the clay and, and master in the direction I want it to go. That there's all these experiments that are yet to be discovered and I'm just in the beginning. That's the way I feel about it.